Our sun is a star a life-giving furnace that powers nearly all life on Earth. Its warmth and light are the foundation of our existence driving our weather, oceans and biology. But beneath its gentle glow lies a force of unimaginable power. The sun is a churning sphere of plasma, its surface a storm of magnetic fields and nuclear reactions. Most days its energy streams steadily into space but sometimes it erupts with violent intensity. These eruptions, solar storms can hurl vast amounts of matter and energy toward Earth. As our world becomes more dependent on technology these storms pose a growing threat. Our society is built on a fragile web of wires, satellites and digital systems. A powerful solar storm could disrupt this network, causing catastrophic failures in our electrical and digital infrastructure. The sun, our source of life, could become the agent of a global blackout in an instant. Our dependence on technology has made us vulnerable. We take for granted the conveniences of modern life, electricity, communication, clean water, all managed by computers and powered by the grid. A major solar storm could sever these connections, plunging us into a world we're unprepared to face. The real danger isn't just broken machines, it's the collapse of the systems that sustain our way of life. The sun's hidden threat is a challenge we must understand. We must prepare for the day when our star's fury is unleashed. To grasp the danger we look to history specifically, the Carrington event of 1859. At the dawn of the electrical age the telegraph was the world's most advanced technology. In September 1859 astronomer Richard Carrington observed a brilliant solar flare. 17 hours later a massive coronal mass ejection slammed into Earth's magnetic field. Telegraph systems across continents sparked and caught fire, some operated without batteries powered by the storm itself. The most visible effect was the aurora, seen as far south as Cuba and Hawaii, so bright that people mistook night for dawn. For most, it was a spectacle. For scientists, a warning of the sun's power. The Carrington event is now a benchmark, a stark reminder of what the sun can do. In 1859 technology was limited so the damage was minor. Today our world is infinitely more complex and dependent on electricity. A Carrington-class storm now would not be a curiosity. It would be a global catastrophe. Our interconnected grids, satellites and computers would be at risk. The question is not if, but when, such a storm will strike again. The Carrington event is a warning from the past, our modern world is far more vulnerable. Are we ready for the next one? What is a solar storm? It starts with the sun's tangled magnetic fields. The sun, a giant ball of plasma, twists its magnetic field lines until they snap, releasing immense energy. This can trigger a solar flare, an intense burst of radiation that reaches Earth in minutes disrupting communications and threatening astronauts. But the real danger is the coronal mass ejection, or CME, a massive cloud of magnetized plasma hurled into space. If a CME is aimed at Earth, it can arrive in one to four days, slamming into our magnetosphere. This collision compresses Earth's magnetic field, unleashing energy into our atmosphere. The result, spectacular auroras, and powerful electrical currents induced in the ground and long conductors. These geomagnetically induced currents, or GICs, can overload transformers and cripple power grids. The sun doesn't need to destroy our infrastructure directly, it turns our own networks into circuits for its destructive energy. Solar storms are natural but their impact on our technology is anything but. Understanding them is the first step to protecting ourselves. Imagine a Carrington-class storm today. The first sign lights flicker, then darkness. An unprecedented blackout. Immense currents would surge into high-voltage transformers, overheating and destroying them across continents. The loss of the power grid would trigger cascading failures everywhere. Water pumps would stop, sanitation would collapse, and communication systems would go dark. Backup generators would soon run out of fuel, leaving us isolated and uninformed. The economy would grind to a halt, digital transactions, banking and supply chains would fail. Even food supplies would be threatened as agriculture and distribution rely on electricity and logistics. The most daunting challenge recovery. High voltage transformers are custom built and take months or years to replace. If hundreds are destroyed, restoring the grid could take a decade. During that time we'd face a world without the systems that support billions. Our civilization's complexity is its strength and its Achilles heel. A solar superstorm could test our resilience like nothing before. Are we prepared for such a challenge? Our dependence on technology extends far beyond the grid. Satellites orbiting Earth form a digital shield enabling everything from GPS navigation to financial transactions. 
GPS isn't just for directions, it synchronizes banking, internet data, and power grids. A severe solar storm could damage satellites, disrupt timing signals, and cause satellites to fall from orbit. The loss of GPS would cripple financial networks, destabilize communications, and threaten power grid stability. Modern transportation, planes, trains, ships, relies on satellite navigation and communication. A major storm could ground flights, halt trains, and disrupt global shipping. Our interconnected world would grind to a halt. The systems designed for safety have become points of vulnerability. Our digital shield is more fragile than we think. The sun's storms could shatter it in moments. To guard against solar storms, scientists monitor the sun with a fleet of space-based observatories. Satellites like SOHO and SDO provide real-time views of solar activity, tracking sunspots, flares, and CMEs. The Deep Space Climate Observatory, or DSCO VR, sits a million miles from Earth, measuring the solar wind and acting as our early warning system. When a CME heads our way, Discover gives us 15 to 60 minutes notice before impact. This brief warning allows grid operators to take protective measures. Shutting down parts of the grid, disconnecting transformers, and safeguarding satellites. However, predicting a CME's exact impact remains a challenge. The storm's severity depends on its magnetic orientation, which we often can't determine until it's almost upon us. Our warning systems buy us precious time, but not certainty. Even with advanced monitoring, a massive event could still catch us off guard. Vigilance is our best defense. The sun's storms are unpredictable, but we can prepare. Our sentinels in space are our first line of protection. We nearly faced disaster in 2012. On July 23, a powerful CME erupted from the sun, comparable to the Carrington event. NASA's Stereo A spacecraft recorded the storm as it tore through Earth's orbit. Fortunately, Earth had passed that spot just nine days earlier. We missed a direct hit by cosmic luck. Had the storm erupted a week sooner, it would have struck our planet head on. Physicists estimate the economic cost could have reached $2.6 trillion, with recovery taking up to a decade. Most of us never knew how close we came to catastrophe. The 2012 near miss is a wake-up call. Solar superstorms are not just history, they're a present danger. The sun is capable of unleashing devastation at any time. We were lucky in 2012, but luck is not a strategy. The threat is real, and the clock is ticking. The next storm could change our world forever. Are we ready to face it? The sun follows an 11-year cycle of activity, from quiet minimum to stormy maximum. During solar maximum, sunspots, flares, and CMEs become more frequent, and the risk of a major storm rises. We are now entering the peak of solar cycle 25, expected around mid-2025. The sun is waking up, and the danger is growing. History and science agree. Carrington-level events occur every 100 to 200 years. It's been over 160 years since the last one. We are overdue. Our reliance on technology grows daily, while the probability of a major storm increases. We can't stop the sun, but we can prepare. The storm is coming, that's certain. What's uncertain is how we'll respond. Our challenge is to build resilience before the next solar fury arrives. The countdown has begun. Solar superstorms are among the greatest natural threats to our modern world. Yet public awareness remains dangerously low. The first step is understanding the risk. Awareness is the foundation of resilience. We can harden our electrical grids with new technologies to protect transformers and build reserves of critical components. Improved forecasting and more advanced solar observatories can give us better warnings and more time to act. This is a global challenge. Solar storms know no borders. International cooperation is essential to share data and coordinate responses. Humanity has always adapted to new threats. This is our next test. By investing in science, technology, and global awareness, we can live safely with our powerful star. The sun gives us life and demands our respect. Our future depends on preparation.